How's it going, broskies? Blank Fog here with another Mono for 3 gameplay. And if you guys didn't know, these tips and tricks videos are part of a, my Hail to the Chief series on this channel. Now, this series is going to be getting better and more in depth as I go along in the game, but for right now, it's a little early, so I can't be bringing you, you know, the most game breaking, crazy MLG pro tips there are. But I can give you very helpful tips and insight on the maps, guns, and perks of the game. So, in this game, I'm going to be on the British map, Underground, using the Type 95 Red Dot with Rapid Fire, along with the FMG9 Akimbo, some text and flash grenades are how I'm going to roll in this game, and my perks consist of Scavenger, Hardline, and Steady Aim. I'll be using the Specialist Strike Package, which if you guys don't know, are uh, a package that gives you reward perks, or perk rewards, instead of uh, killstreak rewards like UAVs and choppers. The uh, perks in this package I'm going to be using are Sleight of Hand, Extreme Conditioning, and Quick Draw. And in this game I won't be using the Chinese Firecracker, which is the uh, Type 95 right here, but I'll be using the crazy awesome FMG9s. Now you may be asking yourself, why are you using Quick Draw if you have akimbo guns? Well, the pro version of this lets me throw grenades and stuff really, really quickly, and I like that. So anyway guys, I'm running here by the bus with my awesome akimbo guns and this guy has no choice but to die because these things of steady aim is just it's unbelievably powerful because the fire rate and the the accuracy of these things are incredible and when you use them you might always you might want to use as much cover as you can because in the open while you might win a lot of gunfights even really far range you're not gonna you're not gonna be probably like an m16 or an acr you know if they're behind cover you're not I mean, look at that. Okimbo guns that far away. And here, I don't know what I was doing. I was just kind of trying to outsmart this guy. I think he, I think he's dead up there. If I run up here anyway, just see. And this guy's dead. Oh, quick drop pro right there. Now, when you want, this is probably the best class I have, like, ever. And with the Time 95, it's great gun. Super powerful, super strong. And that guy gets dropped again. And I think, uh, no, there's not a guy over here. But the Time 95 is a great gun. Put rapid fire on it, it's even better have the red dot slot on it, and it's like super accurate. Now, these FMG9s, they're, they're crazy akimboed and steady aim. You can, you probably can win every gunfight. So, this class to you guys, I would definitely recommend, and this guy gets out smarter here, look at you, what you doing? And so, what you want to do is put the perks and stuff I've listed above, or listed earlier, except you might not want quick draw, just uh, maybe like sit rep, or maybe that. Flash shield, whatever you, you can have your third specialist perk is whatever you want. Because when you get, I wouldn't recommend dead silence. Pretty much because after you get all seven, uh, if you after you get like a seven kill streak or something with your specialist, you become totally silent for some reason. I'm not sure why. I guess it's just a bonus. And I saw that guy over there, but I decided to come get this guy because he was sitting in the back of this map forever. And so when you guys create this class, and I got sniped. When you guys create this class. Definitely keep in mind of how powerful and useful it is. This is my favorite class, and I feel like I don't do as well if I don't use it. But you see when I whip out those guns and I kind of flip them around, that's really annoying and I can get you killed. And I'm sure you've heard this in a hundred videos already. But when you whip those things out in the beginning of your life, possibly like double tap Y or like knife right when you pull them out so they don't do that flippy. And the flippy flip. And so when you're using them in with the rest of your life, if you keep if you actually stay alive for long enough, you won't have to keep flipping them and flipping them and flipping them. You just move them out and they're ready. And I got stuck on those chairs. I didn't see them at all. My tips for this map, though, is definitely try to stick to the outer part. And you see me run to the middle there. And that's not a really good idea because they can easily catch you off those stairs. And this hallway, these hallways, the subway tunnels, definitely watch out for more long-range weapons because people can just sit up on one part of those stairs and destroy you. So when you're going out through there, just keep cautious, and man, this guy is back here again. What is he doing? And I like running between this bus and that truck because great cover, nice little choke point though when you actually get a, some nice kills. This room up here, if you set up right behind that board, you can easily watch that hallway if you have uh, maybe like an M16 or something, like a more slower paced gun. But you see him rushing around a lot, and that's because I have extreme conditioning and these akimbo guns. And that's why you pick extreme conditioning, is because this is your more rushy class. And this class I love, because I love to rush. And, you know, I haven't really been able to in a lot, in Black Ops especially, because the guns just weren't that great for me. And I didn't I didn't have uh, the, the passion I wanted to rush with. And while you still want to use cover and have good accuracy and reaction time and have the advantage, these guns are just so fun to use, dude. I mean, look at headshot. I mean, come on. I'm just destroying these kids. 
And I don't know my final score, but I think I only have like six deaths, maybe. Six deaths in a, in a TDM is pretty nice. And you'll see I keep running the same route over and over again around the map. And that's because I know where they're going to spawn because I keep flipping from one side to the other. And now this guy has two dudes with him. I mean, really, bro. Get get at me. Get a, get a new spot, too, because you went Grizz, baby. And now I know they switch spots over there. So I'm running, running, running to catch them at the spawn because I either want to... Remember, you want to move smart. I'm either going to intercept the enemy, have a, the advantage over the enemy... Or just run for the objective. Well, it's a TDM, and the objective is to kill, kill, kill. So I'm running for the objective, definitely. And, oh, 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 jeez, you got outplayed. That, like, these things are so fun, and I just... Don't even know what to say about that. That was just pathetic. But this, the, while these guns are really awesome and fun to use, this is a little ridiculous how these akimbo guns can do so much. And I saw that guy, like, you know, when I flashed him, but when I was running over there, I had no idea he was there. And that's the problem a lot. To avoid the damage of these guns, or to avoid getting shot by them because they kick up really hard, if you're being shot by some, duck. Just lay on the ground, and it's going to be kind of difficult for them to, you know, easily go after you. And I flashed that guy around the corner, and I know he was still there. So I come around, have the advantage because he was blinded, possibly stunned, and he was just waiting for me to come the other way. And, oh, get turned on. I saw, I'm just turning on people all the time. I must be, like, super sexy or something. And this guy is just like, I was gonna, I could have got him, but that other guy to my right, I should have checked my corners, and be cautious when you actually are going for an enemy in this game, because I've noticed people are always next to each other in this game, more than any other game I've seen before. It's just, teammates are always on other teammates. And it's, uh, it's kind of irritating, especially in Kill Confirmed, those spawns are ridiculous. I mean, come on. And then Team Defender. So, when you guys are going for any, you know, single or double enemy, make sure you check your corners because you don't want to miss out on that triple or quad spray because, you know, this guy was outplaying me right there. I should have uh, checked the corner, but I expected him to be right there standing up. Also, lead with stuns or flashes. That's a great idea. And I get an assist on the final kill cam, guys, but I hope this video helped you out. FMG 9s, akimbo, steady aim, great combination. Definitely, I recommend the class I have right here, and if you don't if you don't remember it, either check back in the video or I'll put it in the description. My name is Blankfog, guys. See you later.